Hey everybody, welcome back to Oracle TV. I'm Fritz Nelson. It is day one of Oracle AI World here in Las Vegas. And we, um, I, I want you to know that the keynote from our founder, Larry Ellison, is starting an hour late, we're hearing. Um, so it was about to start at 1.30 Pacific time. It'll start around 2.30, we'll keep you updated. Um, but we are here and we would like to welcome an Oracle customer, Exelon, whose CEO you may have seen earlier today on stage with Oracle CEO, Mike Cecilia. Exelon is one of the largest energy companies in the U.S., delivering electricity and natural gas to more than 10 million customers. With that scale, data isn't just numbers, it's the lifeblood of the operation. Well, we are thrilled to have Natalie Yarmit, VP of IT Financial Systems Transformation here with us to talk about how Oracle Fusion Data Intelligence is helping Exelon build a stronger data foundation for the future. Natalie, welcome and thank you for joining us. Thank you, Shana. Thank you, Fritz. Thank you for having me. Uh, as you know, uh, we uh, on the Oracle journey. Our CEO mentioned today we use an Oracle across finance HR and our customer applications and one of the largest projects that are uh, going actually live in January 2026 is our financial transformation we call it Apollo project that's what uh, I'm responsible for and in that financial transformation journey we are uh, implementing FDI it's a new term you know fusion data intelligence and it's for our reporting analytics and basically foundation right for yes. um, uh, AI or artificial intelligence use in that, our company that's fantastic so let's start there when you think about how you're managing data and reporting today prior to this mm -hmm. to this project versus what's going to be possible what will be the biggest shift for your teams yeah, so we currently are in a very, very outdated world uh, because we're utility, we're regulated utility. For us to do anything, it's a great <laughs> case, it's a very, very big deal. So our legacy system is old. We have about over 5,000 reports. Uh, they proliferated across the business. There is no standard, there is no standard tool to use them. So what's FDI gonna give us? It's actually given, gonna give us a single point of truth for all our data, right? And we're scaling down from 5,000 reports to only 260 predefined reports. And their application itself, the FDI platform, allows for ad hoc reporting and for user uh, based, uh, basically d uh, developed, self developed reports. So for us, it's less work, it's less costly, and it's giving uh, our end users actually ability to do the work themselves. Um, you know, we, we're talking about regulatory uh, environments, we're talking about customer affordability, we're talking about all this stuff, right? But, but what financial system, what financial transformation can do uh, in order to, to ease customer burden, right? And we are at cost uh, efficiency mode here sure. where we basically saving money by doing less in IT and by costing less. Yes. But you talked about going from 5,000 reports to 263. So that's a that's a big that's yep. a big number to uh, in terms of um, efficiency. But also, what are some of the insights that as as you kind of go towards this full launch in 2026, are you starting to see that surprise you, and how it's giving you the ability to understand what's changing in the business? So our uh, FDI, uh, which is uh, actually we made a very, very conscious decision to bring all our data into FDI. We started with budgeting and forecasting data. Uh, and then to complete the analysis, we need actuals data. So we brought in actuals and budget. We do trend analysis in our actuals and budget. We do uh, income statement reporting. The other very important thing that you connect to FDI as a reporting tools. You don't have to report in Oracle in order to actually leverage 
the fusion data intelligence. So we uh, provided to the business not only financial insights, but their ability to connect with operational data, with data in other data sources. And that's huge for them, right? They can start at the balance or income statement. They can start drilling down through Oracle tools and then get to the work management, for example, uh, insight. And so is that an easier end entree for yeah. the business user being able to just do it all right there and after right it's it's very easy they can use even power microsoft power bi if they want to right so we provide this ability but clearly we control the quality of data inside the fdi because we bring the data over and it's clean it's the same for any report right be it oracle report or any other report and then and then you talked earlier just a few minutes ago about you know this being a foundation for what you want to do with AI. Mm -hmm. What does that start to look like? So for us, uh, we actually wanted to do AI all in long. Sure. Uh, we started uh, proof of concept. We actually created a whole list of use cases that we want to do. And uh, we thought we will actually build it ourselves. And I'm very glad we didn't take that step, right? <laughs> very glad. Because Oracle now, they actually providing you with the capabilities, not only agents, pre-built agents, but also customizable agents, which is very which important is, yes, for us. Yes, that is important. Because if we a little bit deviate in configuration, it's very hard to use something that's very stringent. Customizable is awesome. Mm. So uh, we, we will be using that. We want to start with annotation or explanation of where variances in our financials, actuals to budget analysis, and then AI-generated explanation of variances. That would be really, really oh, cool. cool. Yes, that yes, would be. and it will save a lot of you know analyst time and you know the <laughs> spell check too, know. right? Stopping all the hunting for the exactly. variances. It just exactly. brings it right there. That's exactly. Right. Yeah, that's a, that's a plan. And the the most important thing, and uh, Calvin also mentioned that we actually getting into the evergreen system, meaning that. We get upgrades, we get new features, and we don't have to do anything, right? Because it's through Oracle patching. So our users get the functionality right when it gets released. IT doesn't have to come in and do a costly upgrade and do approvals, et cetera. It's all there. So we're looking forward what Oracle gonna provide next, yeah. right? Well, thank you for not building it on your own. Thank you for using Oracle. So <laughs> we appreciate that. You know, I wanna go into, you're delivering energy to more than 10 million customers. I mean, this is, you know, incredible resource management. Can you talk to me a little bit about this? So, uh, you know, we we have a very uh, complicated, a complex billing system that is Oracle based, right? And uh, for us, you know, uh, being accurate, being available for data to be very, very uh, specific, is, it's very important, right? Because customers re uh, uh, expect us Absolutely. to provide, um, you know, uh, accuracy and, and, and the speed, right? And plus, it also has to be inexpensive or cost effective. And that's what we're really doing, right? We're leveraging the uh, data to provide the insights so we can actually build customers accurately, we can deal with them correctly, et cetera. That's fantastic. Well, thank you. And uh, thank you for leaning into that accuracy. It is important. Right. And um, <laughs> so, you know, this is about empowering people. You said something earlier where you said less work, um, less work, less time. What was it? I'm going to say it. less work, less cost, and right. empowerment. Exactly. And empowerment is important. So how has connecting financial and operational data, how has it helped your teams act faster and make better decisions? How are they doing that? So we we go in life in January, right? Oh, so yay. it's not not there yet. Congratulations, right? <laughs> almost. You. I'll say almost. when I say when almost, in January, yes. I'll reach yes. out and say congratulations. Yes. No, but um, you know what we see that our um, employees becoming more and more tech savvy, right? Everybody has a phone, everybody has their own computer, and they want to do things themselves. We have this uh, desire to do to build by them dashboards and do their own analysis. And what we need to give them, the right data, the correct data, right. uh, convert data from multiple you know, legacy system, we clean it, we make sure that it's Oracle friendly and uh, uh, Oracle systems can con consume them. And this is where we kind of want to stop 
and develop only uh, reports that are regulatory required or are uh, key financial controls, for example, right, that required for the South Bank's Oxley attestation, and that's it. Everything else should be done by the end user, right? And yes. then IT has less work and costs less money. Yeah, it's well, empowerment is key. Yeah. Well, and let's, let's dive into that. And I know we've been talking about fusion data intelligence, but you mentioned on the billing side, and you know, giving customers uh, the transparency as mm -hmm. well. You know, I mean, I turned off all my lights. I charged my car overnight. You know, what did that impact? What more can I do? Being able to be proactive. I mean, AI starts to play a great role in doing some of that yeah. as well. It's 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 all should be connected, right? Your mobile app app should be connected to the outage management system. You know, you don't realize that actually to provide you with uh, information, there are multiple, multiple sure. layers mm -hmm. of the system, some of them real time, some of them not. And we try to connect it all, you know, together. And especially with an FDI, you know, you can bring this data over into the okay. warehouse, right? Uh, and use it whichever way you want. Uh, the other very important thing is to provide customer uh, agents, right, with uh, all the necessary tools. They just We just upgraded our customer systems. They used to have blue screens and uh, mainframe, <laughs> actually, <laughs> believe it or not. So now it's a it's, it's completely different world, right? But how do you take it even closer to you as a consumer and you don't need that many customer agents, right? And everything is self-service and you can turn it on, turn it off, do whatever you want from your mobile phone. And then what, you, what, what Calvin was talking about on stage, be proactive. We're going to have a, a small outage. It's going to last this long. Right. Um, it's coming up in 24 hours. You know, that people can people kind of forgive that a little bit more 100%. readily when they know and, it's coming. And Exelon as a whole, right, uh, Calvin was talking about 2027 20, blue sky. What it is for us, we want to eliminate outages when the weather is good, when there is a blue sky, right? And right. that talks about predictive analytics, understanding where the failure can be, plan for it, notify customers and never have an outage when the, there is a blue sky day. Yeah, that's absolutely. Great. That's great. Well, you know, something else that he did say on stage is I, I really loved this comment when he's when it, talking about how can you encourage others to jump in or mm -hmm. start learning now. And he said, you know, we may not be the leaders in it right now, but we're not the laggers. We're starting to make that change. Yeah. And so I can tell your excitement and how you talk about it. Is that am I catching that right? Yeah, that's your good. Yeah. Yes. And um, so thank you so much for talking with us today and giving us a little bit more information and insight into Exelon. Yes, thank you so much. And we look forward to more January 26th. We're going to be cheering you on That's right. in January. You right. Thank you, Shana. Uh, yes, yeah, cheer so, us. Yeah, such okay, a great you. example of how better data leads to better outcomes for everyone inside of Exelon, for Exelon's customers. And uh, we look forward to more. Thank you for sharing right. this with us. All right, we will be right back.